formal financial system the financial institute which is directly controlled or regulated by the specific authority product are marketed with the help of market the same thing the financial product also marketed with the help of financial market the major uh, regulatory body one is the uh, security exchange board of uh, india sebi we call it as uh, they are controlling the capital market Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit one, section one, financial institution and market, which is a fifth semester BCom. The chapter name is financial institution in India. And today my agenda, so you will get more clarity about the Indian financial system, how it is operating. Okay, so the meaning of Indian financial system and the financial system under financial concept, uh, the components and constitute of Indian financial system because any country, they have a proper uh, financial system, okay, which is a direct contribution for the national uh, GDP or economic, we can say, the financial is very important, right? So that's what the Indian financial system, how it is operating, who is uh, controlling, who is taking a responsibility, okay, so everything. So now majorly we are talking under the Ministry of finance okay there are four components are operating here so the financial product is very important what are the components you will get to know so the first one uh, introduction of indian financial system india especially we are talking related to indian financial system how it is uh, contributing for the development of the nation okay so the finance is a uh, very important for everywhere right so that's what if any city want to develop uh, if the country is uh, developing based on the financial system whatever they adapt how who is a controlling taking a responsibility and the meaning of Indian financial system the financial system the financial system is a main part of running the economic smoothly because the major the contribution for the total economic so the finance is taking a very important role the financial system provide flow of finance in the economy because actually now the investor if you take example for dhirubhai ambani they are planning to start one uh, industry or they are planning to take one steps to go for producing any product or offering okay they need finance right so now what they are doing, they are mobilizing the saving for those who are saving the, uh, for example, as an individual person, uh, after spending a primary and secondary expenditure, then also they have a surplus. So they are trying to generate the revenue. So the individual saving, whatever they are contributing or investing. Here the deficiency is faced by the industry. The investors need finance. Okay. So obviously for the economical development, the finance is very important, which lead to development of the country, finance systems uh, show the strength of the country if the financially if they are sound obviously the country wise or industry wise organization wise if they are ready to go for an investor if they have a finance support okay obviously uh, there is a strength okay so now Indian financial system is a combination of uh, there are four major components here the first one financial institution under financial institution Okay, and the financial market we are able to identify. There is a primary market and secondary market. If you take example for the formal uh, financial system, under formal financial system, the financial institute, uh, which is uh, directly controlled or regulated by the specific authority. Okay, and uh, if the informal uh, financial system, uh, there is no control, right? So, for example, in the old generation, the landlord are giving a loan facility to the needy people. Okay. So so obviously indigenous bank, uh, if you take example, that is an uh, informal, okay. So the landlord, uh, even the financial lending, okay. Uh, the financial instrument, what are the instruments are available in the financial market and the financial service. There are too many services uh, provided because the service sector is a uh, booming, right. So if you take a best example, insurance, uh, banking, okay, insurance, general insurance, life insurance, uh, okay. Uh, the facilitated transfer of fund with the help of finance only they are start rising the fund so after rising uh, so those who are really required for the financial assistant or support okay so they are trying to get a benefit from that 
the financial system provide a payment mechanism for the exchange of goods and service so how physical product obviously there is a financial related product if you take example for insurance which is one kind of product offered by the insurance provider the sponsor are providing so it is a link between the, and the saver and the investor the saver i just now i told the primary expenditure and secondary expenditure whatever they spend the remaining if they have any surplus so they are called for the saver the investor those really required financial support they are called for the investor the meaning of indian financial system the financial system enable lender lender actually they are lending a money and the borrowers uh, uh, because number of activity they are involved in the production activity or assembly industry or uh, they start to a business they want to finance support is very important so they are borrowing so there are different different financial institute which is established exchange of fund india has a financial system that controlled by the independent regularity okay so in the sector of insurance irda okay the banking so rbi is controlling or regulating and the capital marketing security exchange board of sebi is controlling and the various service sectors like pension fund okay so development authority thus the financial system can be said to be playing significant role in the economical growth of country by mobilizing surplus fund and utilizing the effective productivity purpose because uh, if the country or development so the majorly we can identify there is a number of industry are located either we are talking related to small scale industry medium scale industry a large scale industry if the producers are not taking any steps to uh, produce the product of course they need a finance support for just for purchase acquiring a land uh, even they want to purchase for the machinery so each and every where the finance is playing a very important role so how they can arrange so obviously they are mobilizing a fund from the saver okay so they are savers are they try to go for investing money so the whatever the invested money so the producer they start producing they start purchasing the whatever required okay uh, moving forward financial system in india under financial concept what are the major concept we need to familiar as a, a management student or commerce student as a finance student so you must very familiar with the concept like what are the different concepts uh, you going to be familiar here yeah? uh, it emphasizes a wide range of institute uh, there are different types of uh, institute we are identified and market majorly we are talking related to money market and capital market I, again the money market which is a, a short period and capital market uh, which is a uh, long period uh, so compared to short period and long period and instrument that facilitate the flow of fund from the saver because the, any investor they want to invest if the saver the individual person if i want to select any specific product which is available in the finance market so easily i want to identify so after identify i need to evaluate what is the revenue generation if i select any specific instrument or financial product so uh, allocate the resource efficiently to promote the economic growth because growth uh, the economic is completely depending of our agriculture development uh, industry development uh, so institutions development uh, educations development everywhere uh, so the economical is completely depending so here the uh, some uh, key concept and component of the financial institute uh, uh, system in india so the major concept uh, which is related to financial institute under financial institute uh, there is a different different institute we are finding either which is uh, talking related to public limited or private limited so the commercial activity commercial bank uh, okay so rbi which is coming under the financial institute and the non banking uh, finance company which is also controlled or regulated by the rbi so which is also there for the financial institute and the insurance company okay and mutual fund uh, stock exchange these are the financial institute which is a uh, majorly operating or taking a uh, held responsibility for the development of economy and uh, next concept which is related to financial market so how physical product are marketed with the help of market the same thing the financial product also marketed with the help of financial market so the financial product uh, like a uh, uh, capital market uh, under capital market we classified into majorly primary market and uh, secondary market which is always focusing for the long period okay and money market no doubt which is coming under the short period okay so there are different money market products are available commercial paper okay treasury bill bills of exchange promissory note which is related to the money market 
market. Now, capital market means a primary market. Any company, first time they are introducing or launching the shares, okay, uh, with the help of uh, uh, initial public offer, okay. So, that is. So, the secondary market, how the investors are buying and selling the uh, share, okay. So, that is coming under the secondary market. And the commodity market, so each and every, uh, there are majorly, I just talking related to, uh, under the Ministry of Finance, uh, there are uh, four components are operating. Again, one more, under the Ministry of uh, Consumer, okay, Affairs, okay, uh, these are the commodity, wheat, uh, if you take uh, gold, uh, silver, everything which is related to commodity market. So, and foreign exchange market, because other uh, bank uh, which is operating in our country, so we need to control. And the regulatory body, so the major uh, regulatory body, one is the uh, Security Exchange Board of uh, India, SEBI, we call it as, uh, they are controlling the capital market. Again, next one, Insurance Regulated Development and Authority, IRDAI, which is coming under the insurance related product, because uh, there are various uh, financial services are available, so uh, majorly, which is controlled by the insurance regulator. And next one, the Pension Fund Regulated and Development Authority, PFRDA, so which is related, there are different types of pensions uh, schemes are introducing, so operated by the public limited as well as private sectors. Next concept, financial instrument. So the financial instrument, there are different, different product, either you can call it as a financial product also and financial instrument. So the equity shares, uh, bond, uh, derivative, okay, and the mutual fund units, uh, bank deposit, that is also one product and insurance policy which is coming under the financial instruments. And next to fifth one, a financial inclusion which involved providing access to banking and financial service to all section of the society, all section because uh, of each and every area it's very important for the economic, okay. So the total economic we are talking related, so each and every area either you are talking related to agriculture or small scale industry or large scale industry or institution or infrastructure, every area the financial inclusion, okay. So all section of society including those rural and remote uh, area okay so we cannot ignore for the rural as well as semi-urban okay so moving forward next one sixth one financial stability so we need to maintain a stability in our system so that's what ensuring the stability of the financial system is a crucial to preventing a financial crisis if there is any stability of course uh, we can tackle the problem whatever we are facing in the future uh, regulatory body like uh, RBI and SEBI work to maintain stability throughout uh prudent regulation and supervision there is a proper guidelines are given there are number of code of conduct uh, how they want to operate how they want to raise the fund uh, with the help of complete control uh, taken by the stock uh, related security related primary market capital market which is controlled by the are uh, taking a responsibility risk regulated by the sebi and moving to the digital finance so we are staying in a 21st century obviously the digital finance how it is uh, helping okay so within a fraction of Second, uh, those who are really required finance, so they can approach with the help of a digital platform so that they can get the finance support. Okay, so India has uh, witnessed significant growth in the digital finance because we are in the booming, right? So we are developing. Uh, with the initiative like uh, unified payment interface uh, which is we call it as simply UPI okay and digital wallets uh, each and every customers or consumers are using okay a individual person are getting a benefit from the digital wallet uh, uh, resolutions in the way of uh, people make payment and access finance service they don't want to walk in a physical way so with the help of digital platform the digital wallets uh, digital banking system they completely operating and the next one, government initiative. So there are government has taken a lot of initiative for development of economy. So the Indian government has uh, launched uh, several initiatives to promote the financial inclusion and literacy, such as uh, Pradhana Mantri Janman Yojan, okay, and Atal Pension Yojan. So everything, whatever the government is offering uh, to the general public, okay, obviously with the intentions to serve the society. Next one, the component and constitute of Indian financial system. So the Indian financial system consists of various components and constitute that the collective facilitate efficient flow of fund 
and capital within the economic these component so majorly what end all the topic or concept you clear which is coming under the components here and here the financial institution same thing commercial bank uh, cooperative and uh, regional rural bank uh, non banking financial companies or corporation insurance company mutual fund uh, and pension fund so which is coming under the financial institution this is one kind of component and now coming to the financial market okay that is second component here capital market which is controlled by the sebi so again the under capital market majorly we can identify primary market and secondary market and the money market no doubt which is coming under there is a short period here and there are different examples for money market commercial paper promissory note or bills of exchange okay now foreign exchange market because of liberalization other country uh, country banks are located so which is related to the foreign exchange and commodity market so we are talking each and every commodity which is coming under the commodity market the price is fixations with the help of commodity market here uh, next uh, regulatory body majorly we are talking related to major uh, bodies like uh, one is reserve bank of india the complete uh, banking and non banking system uh, institute are controlled by the rbi which is regulated by the rbi under the guidance of rbi only financial institute are operating here and now security exchange board of india sebi so the the capital market which is completely controlled by the are taking a responsibility uh, uh, regulated by the sebi and insurance security and development authority of india which is the control or uh, regulated by the insurance product uh, insurance commodity and insurance instruments but the pensions fund regulated and development authority which is called for pfrda there are different types of pension schemes are introduced for the those who really want to save the money and next one under intermediary and financial service provider okay so here the stock broker is acting like an agent so in between the uh, savers and uh, investor they are connecting the okay and uh, deposit majorly we are talking related to bombay stock exchange and national stock exchange and the credit rating agency because the rating is done with the help of agency and the financial advisor and consultancy which is also they are acting like intermediator or agent and next fifth one government and public financial institution under government and public financial institution so majorly government of india and public sectors bank so again the scheduled bank and non scheduled bank okay now last sixth one uh, micro finance institute uh, so which is uh, we are not focusing only for the macro so micro also very important for the economical development so this institute provide financial service to the underserved and economical weaker sections uh, you as a government of india they need to identify so according to the economical plan uh, so five years once uh, they want to identify which section is not developed uh, based on the identifications only we need to provide the finance support so that they can promote and under here the payment and the settlement system okay there are different types of payment and settlement is going here uh, this include payment bank uh, payment uh, gateway and electronic fund transfer systems like nift uh, national electronic fund transfer and rt uh, real time uh, grass settlement and upi unified uh, payment uh, interface uh, which enable efficient fund transfer and payment so uh, last one and the financial technology or uh, pin tech uh, companies so these tech uh, driven uh, form offer innovative financial product and service such as uh, digital wallet uh, peer to peer lending and robo advisor so these are the services are provided keep on watch for next session thank you